Mr. Holster here, just having a little coffee in the tack room this morning. Actually, it's green tea. Today I thought I'd, I'd talk about my uh, SIG right here I shot the other day. And I noticed when I was shooting it, when I got done, and, you know, a lot of things have happened the last year, and I can't remember if I ever noticed this before or not. I think I did. And I, I kind of put it on the back burner. But I noticed that the sight was slightly set to the right. And I thought I'd talk about that. I fixed it. I got it adjusted. So, And this is kind of a unique idea. I put it, as you can see, dead center on the slide. Yeah. Because sights usually work if they're dead center. You really should have no need to adjust your sights float them from side to side elevation maybe but if you got to float them from side to side to get them to work right on the gun I, it, your gun's probably not set up right there's probably something else going on there so because if you're if you're shooting one side or the other and your sights are dead center and your gun's set up right it's you not the gun and to move your sights to correct for you doesn't make a lot of sense you should figure out what you're doing wrong wrong and correct it it says I. It's called marksmanship. But at any rate, I, I went to fix this, and boy, this was set on there. I had some, yeah, it, it took me a long time to get this thing. And of course, like every time I've adjusted a sight in my life, I basically moved it to the exact same spot on the other side when it finally did move. So then I had to start over again and get it to the center. But once it's worth the effort once you get it so it's sitting dead center on the sidearm yeah then they usually work yeah that's all you need if the sights are dead center they'll work again you know elevation's a different story but as long as as long as the sights are dead center driftage wise back and forth if you got them dead center then yeah they're gonna work so Kind of anxious to get out and shoot this 1911 again now that I got the sights dead center and see if I can do a better job than I did the other day. It does make a difference, especially when you start getting out the further distances. And if you're shooting up close and personal all the time, say you go to the range and you always shoot at 10 yards, it's not a big deal. But you really need to get out to those further distances to, to realize stuff like that and... Of course, I've been shooting this out at further distances. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it to my wife last fall that I needed to adjust the sights on this, and I just kind of been preoccupied, kind of, kind of preoccupied in my own little existence. I think, yeah, kind of been selfish that way in the last year, so I kind of forgot about that. But it's nice to start getting these things done and, and straightened out in life. Because things work much better when they're set up right correctly to start with. Yeah. And this is the what I found is the key to all this. If if instead of buying yet another firearm, you just learned how to shoot the one you got. And if there's some problem there, just correct it. Yeah. Get figure out what the problem is and correct it. Don't don't go back and get yet another different gun and, and just keep adding to them and never really master any of them. So there you go. There's there's Mr. Holster's rant. That's kind of a kind of a sort of rant at the end there for the day. And uh, yeah, so you might take a peek at your gun guns and make sure because I, I hate to admit it, I've had this gun for several years. I think four years at this point. And, and I traded just a horrendously poorly made Walther CCP for it. And, and so yeah, I think I got a good deal personally. It's one of my better transactions in life. So there you go, guys. There's four and a half minutes of your life you'll never, ever, ever get back again. Yeah, hearing Mr. Holster talk about the sights on his SIG. 1911. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Till next time, from Mr. Holster and Jack, go out and stay safe. <laughs> Almost five minutes of your life you'll never, ever, ever get back again. <laughs>